Okay, welcome back to Charge Positive. We are here again with Heath and his amazing new Lucid Gravity. And there were a lot of questions on the previous video of like, what's it like to charge with 400 kilowatts? There's only a couple here in LA. In fact, this is probably the only one in all of Southern California right now. So we're here at the new BP Pulse Charging Hub near LAX, and we're gonna see what it's like to charge the gravity. We're at about 5%, right? Yep, 5%. 5%. Let's plug it in and charge her up. All right, as we all know now, hopefully there is a NAX port built into the gravity. So here at the new Alpitronic 400 kilowatt station, uh, it has two NAX connectors. And basically here you pick which one you're gonna use. So we're gonna use number 21 here. And then you pick them to plug it in. And then I believe you press the number after that. Non-Tesla NAX, how about that? So now it asks for payment. Try this. Looks like it's gonna pre-authorize $35. Do, 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 do. All right, card is approved, that's good. And here we go, authenticating. Got lots of contactors clicking here. Oh, well. <laughs> All right, we're here at 5% and uh, does that say 400 kilowatts? Yeah, 400 what kilowatts. does the car say? All right, look at that, 400, 400. We have 400 kilowatts on a real world charging station and a real world customer <laughs> gravity vehicle. This is not a test mule. This is not a promo. This is testing out a real world scenario. What do you think, Keith? First Perfect. time. I think first time to charge on a 400 kilowatt and to get 400 straight away, <laughs> very impressive. It just was like, boop, 400. <laughs> we didn't even really see a ramp up. I mean, if there was, we didn't. it wasn't shown to us uh, we, we probably should have been looking at the car screen when it first plugged in, yeah. <laughs> but uh, within a matter of seconds, it went to 400. Now we're looking at 395 already at 9%. So we'll see how long it sits up here, but we're already fast, fast. He's already gotten 5% in the time that we've been talking. Yeah, impressive. Wow. All right, so we'll, we'll keep the screen going with, uh, well, if it stays active, there we go, active session. This one's on the day screen, the other one was on the dark mode. <laughs> so we're still getting 370 something at 11%. Wow, we'll be back. Well, while we wait for that to charge, let's take a look around, what do, what do we see here? So my car is already done, I got here before him. I went from 34 to 80% in that amount of time. Free Wi-Fi. Free Wi-Fi, how about that? BP <laughs> Pulse. BP Pulse Wi-Fi, look at that, okay. I wonder if the Wi-Fi is uh, 400, uh, <laughs> 400 megabytes. <laughs> four, four, yeah, that'd be kind of, I mean, 400 megabyte uh, Wi-Fi would be pretty good. So um, also, unfortunately, the lounge is not open today. Uh, today is July 20th, wow, 31st, 31st. And this place, I think, opened on the 23rd. Yeah, it hasn't been open that long. Yeah, and so the security guard did tell us that it's locked because they got to finish up the, uh, the some finer details. And you're also right here under the flight path. Right there. So it is not too far from LAX. So if you're going to or from the airport or you're a rideshare driver giving rides uh, to and from the airport, this is not a bad spot. There are 40 units here, uh, but only, what was it, uh, eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are eight Alpitronics, which gives you 16 NAX connectors. And the rest of these are all CCS 150s, and those are shared as well. So if you have two cars plugged in, each will get 75. So pretty much all of these are shared. So if you want to get your full power on either side, make sure you don't plug into somebody that's already charging, unless it's the last one. And if you're waiting for someone at LAX, come here and charge. <laughs> if you're, yeah, if you're waiting to pick up, yeah, instead of going to the cell phone lot to wait for to pick up somebody, come here and charge and, and wait for their flight to get in. Because it's really like only a matter of blocks from here to the airport. Well, this station is laid out pretty well. You can walk between the units like that. It's, it's nice and open. There's nothing really to trip on over here. Easy access. Even if you're not at the uh, ADA spots, the spots here are pretty easy to access. You're not gonna trip on anything. So let's get an update on what the car's doing. So the charger screen shows 31%, 300, still getting 329 kilowatts at 32%. Car is showing the same. 25 minutes to 80%, but we're already 
have charged 30% in a matter of time it took to just walk around the station real quick. All right, boom. All right, so for both myself and Heath, this is our first time using Alpitronic chargers. And what's your experience with uh, NAC so far? So far, NAX has been 100% uh, successful on the Tesla uh, network and now uh, here. I did try uh, the CCS network with another provider and it didn't work, so. I think we can say which provider that is. I don't think it takes an imagination. <laughs> uh, that'll be Electrify America. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> now was that, when did you try a 350 station? It was a 350, but again, it was like a 10 station that were all full. So you're never going to get 350 because they power balance them mm -hmm. and um, I plugged in and the charger was already jammed up. And then wow. over the road was a 20 or 30 station Tesla uh, charger location and it just worked. And that's where you got 225 for a while? Yeah, 225. All right. So I'm consistently seeing like 220, 225 on the Tesla Which network. still not bad. That's no. better than most Teslas for a yeah. while. Like if you have, you know, like a Model Y or even a Model I, 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 I got to look up when, how far, the, on the Model S, I got to look up how far into the pack it'll do 250. But 225 for a while is not bad. Yeah. But what do you think of the Alphatronic charger itself? Uh, big. <laughs> it's big. <laughs> it is tall, but it is two chargers in one unit. True. I, just, I think you're just trying to compare it to a, a Tesla V4, which is a thousand volts charger as well. It is quite large, but yeah, like you said, it's got two in one. So we have Max charging voltage, 1,000 volts. Max charging current, 600 amps. So let's talk about the cables themselves. They're probably closer to what you would see at a V4 supercharger. However, I do think they are still heavier than a V4 yeah. cord. They got a little crank. They're probably, they need to be broken in a little bit here. You can, little cord, charge cord ASMR here. But other than that, you know, it's nice that the weight is supported from above here by the spring tension system. Oh, well, actually, excuse me, that's oh, it's an arm. It's not yeah. a, I thought there was gonna be like a cord to come out. So it's really, this is the length that you get, but that's, that reaches quite, quite a distance. Well, so whether it's by design or not, there are, there is a parking line here, but it isn't marked for charging. But theoretically, even if it's not designed for charging, you could pull in here with your trailer pull in here with your trailer and reach your vehicle here. Let's see, I could reach pretty much, you know, if I'm if I'm in a truck with a uh, trailer right there, this will easily reach. So if you're if you're towing and you gotta get through the LA area, this might be your first choice of, of a charger because most of the chargers in the LA area are in parking garages or shopping centers, but this one is nice and open here. Look at this. So that being said, it would be nice if they actually marked the spot as a trailer spot. It's just empty. It's just two lines here. You know, conventional logic, you probably could figure that, but a lot of people don't think that way when they're at a charging station. So, but it'd be nice if it said, you know, for towing. But if you have a trailer, hopefully you figured it out. Uh, let's check the other side. We're now here at the other end with the CCS cables. And there is also another long spot here on the ground. So theoretically, if you're towing with a CCS vehicle, you can also pull on. So if you have a bolt in your trailer, you have a trailer, go ahead and pull in here, or more likely a Rivian or a Silverado or what have you. But if you have a Silverado, I would imagine you probably want to use your NAX adapter to charge on the 400 kilowatt side. 67%, two thirds of a battery, and it's still pulling 148 kilowatts. That is much better than many cars I know about. Yeah. Impressive. We're now here at the 20 minute mark and we have just hit 70% here with the, the Lucid. So that means we've gotten, math, 65% battery in 20 minutes time on a 123 kilowatt hour pack. Now is that, what is, is that usable? Uh, it's very close. I think it's like maybe 120 or something. 120, uh, yeah. well there you go. 65% of 120 is that. <laughs> well we are in the shade here, but that, not that that makes much of a difference with uh, it's about 80 degrees here, although it's probably a little cooler because we got the, the breeze from the ocean. We're, we're not too far from the coast, but these cords don't get very, it's, it's a little warm, but definitely nothing I'd want to complain about. 72%, we got 8% to go. We're getting close to the end of the session. We're at 78%. Now it's worth noting, we're still pulling 134 kilowatts, which in the other video, if you go check it out, we are pulling uh, 100 kilowatts at 80%. Yeah. 
more or less, right around 100. So this is still doing slightly better than the supercharger at this percentage. Um, it's doing essentially 30% better <laughs> right here. So we're almost done and we'll see what the total comes to. We just clicked off at 80%. It is finished and we shall see the uh, session here in just a second. But total time is about 25 minutes. It's about 25 minutes to go from 5% to 80% on a 400 kilowatt unit here with the Lucid Gravity. I see. And we'll wait for the plane. Didn't give us a little summary. I think it wants us to unplug. So yeah. Well, let's see what the car says. It is off. All right. <laughs> All right, Charlie, we got 88 kilowatt hour. There's a good number. All right, so we're gonna unplug and see if it gives us a, a tally. Nope, unfortunately, so on my session, I got a summary screen at the end of the session, but here with the, the Lucid, we didn't. And I'll, I'm, I wonder if it's different of software because this one is stuck on light mode and the other one was on dark mode. So I wonder if they all need to get an update or something. Unfortunately, we don't have a summary, but we did see that it pulled 88 kilowatt hours in 25 minutes. Impressive. That's a lot of power. Like, I mean, if this goes mainstream, Whew. I mean, once we see V4 superchargers, yeah. that's gonna be awesome. So to prepare us for today's test, it wasn't the easiest thing in the world. What did you have to do to get the Lucid ready? No, so the car was at, this morning it was at 45%, uh, so I had to go on a, a nice extended drive to try and get it down. Uh, took the aero covers off, uh, turned the regen off, uh, in order to just try and get this thing down to 5%. So it was, uh, it was, uh, it was an effort. <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny, but uh, that just shows you how much range is in this vehicle here. Wow. First time at uh, Alpetronic, first time 400 kilowatts, first time with the gravity. What do you think of the experience? Very impressive. Uh, very easy. And it does what Lucid says, charges at 400 kilowatts. Real world 400 kilowatt example. You were mentioning something about you think they kind of going for like a 10 minute model or something like that? Yeah, I believe it's like within 10 minutes you can get around 200, maybe 220 miles. So yeah. I think the Lucid's designs to more like a, a traditional gas car where you go in, you charge 10 yeah. minutes and then you just go on to your next stop. Yeah, we'll check the footage from the other camera about where it was at at the 10 minute mark. So we'll, we'll, come, we'll give you that figure on the screen below. But all right, well, there it is. First time with Alpatronic 400 kilowatts with a Lucid Gravity. We got two for one here today near LAX. I want to thank Keith yet again thank for you. sharing your time and your vehicle with us and the world of your gravity experience here. And if you want, if you need a Lucid Air, unfortunately you can't get a Gravity right now Not yet. with the referral, but if you want to get a great lease deal on a Lucid Air, uh, use his code, which I'll put down in the description below to help thank him out for helping me out here with these videos. If you want to help my channel out, give me a super thanks or give me a like or subscribe, share this video around, and we'll see you at the next charging station. Bye.